I didn't. Oh, my God. Why would you scare me like that? Because I owe you the truth. Joss, I screwed up. Big time. I was wrong about everything, just like you said. Because I wouldn't listen. To the point where I... I picked up that gun. And for two hours tonight, everyone thought that I could have been the shooter to the point where I started believing it myself. But you didn't. You're sure. Police have evidence through the security footage that the shot came from someone standing behind me. I mean, I'm glad. Not that Jason was shot, obviously, but that it wasn't you. Because if it was, if you had shot Jason, never forgive you. That Peter's plan it was a variation on something Faison did decades ago to control Sean Donnelly. So I want to find the creator of that original toxin. You think Peter used the same scientist? I don't know. It's a long shot, but it's the, it's the only lead we have right now. Well, I've been doing some checking of my own. I can't find a lab that's had anything to do with Peter since he's been back to Port Charles. Okay. Maybe the toxin was something that he already had on hand. But if I find the creator, perhaps this person, he also would have a cure that could save Chase. Where's Cameron? He's out on the patio with Jocelyn. Wait, Elizabeth, before you go, um, can you explain a few things first? Cameron almost threw away his entire future tonight. I knew that you were angry at Jason. I knew that you blamed him. I mean, God, you've only told me that a thousand times. But even when we were fighting, and even when you were being totally unreasonable, I still thought that somewhere deep down, you were still the Cameron I've always known. And if it came right down to it, if, if you were face to face with Jason, or, or if you were in a parking garage with him when he was trying to escape, that you'd be able to see the truth. You'd recognize a man who, who saved your life. But, I mean, I guess not. I guess, I guess you were able to pick up a gun and you could have shot him. But I didn't, okay? Yes, I know, I know, Cam, and that's, that's good. It's just, I can't believe it's gone this far. While you're looking into phase on scientists, we need to learn where Peter's keeping the antidote. We need to keep Chase alive long enough for Finn to come up with a cure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been thinking about that. And I'm convinced that he's keeping it nearby. Because he didn't hesitate to crack a vial of the medicine right in front of my face just to make a point. Which tells me that he's confident he can get more and fast. Of course it's nearby. Yeah. It's its only leverage. But it's not going to be easy to find. What was Cameron thinking? Why would he pick up a gun? He was traumatized. I don't think he actually understood what he was doing. Thank God he didn't pull that trigger. You know, I, I can't help thinking that none of this would have happened if it wasn't for Sonny Corinthos still ruining everyone's lives. It's never going to stop, is it? Does Jake know? He's at a friend's house, a sleepover. Dad even knows that Jason escaped from GH. Well, are you going to tell him that you could have shot his father? You're acting like I, I did shoot him, but I didn't. Okay, yes, I picked up the gun, and that was stupid, probably the stupidest thing that I've ever done in my life, but I did not pull that trigger. So why are you acting like I did? <laughs> 